Nigerian people of Ghana is your Nigerian girl pleasure bringing you political news in our channel Ghana 2. Gabi has actually reacted on the false rumor of Bede Toasted. According to him, he has actually come out to say that this is very, very deep. The hatred is very deep and scary. According to Gabi, Ostradako, cousin to President Nana Akufado, he has actually described as devilish some reactions to the certain health status of the executive secretary of the president, Nana Bedeato Asante. Please watch. Gabi Ochre Dakun, a dear putting ye pan, a war MPP, a man you call him. On also, and a man for friend is Obagan Hanamono, and I am Prime Minister. But in some phobia, a papa to social media, a fire, a yen, a nurse, and TV, dear two, I would did you my ever mampini, Nana Dunka Kufado, and I catch it, a president, you know. Nana sent him more and a better than you, who, who, Sas and TV, dear two, yeah, can say, what one and anonym, a one, see, I don't mean by the man for beach, my eye, eh, and yeah, come out and a fine, you could see, say. And on a gap, be near some of what trade to Facebook, which I'm saying, eh, and one more, Sapa, so Nipa da Seni, able to me at Nassay, that is what you should be a woo. Now, it's Unia Osanian, yes, I only pan you, we are near to me, shoot to Moose away, dear. Ah, be ye, Uncle Sanka Seni, I feel only say, be out time, who Nanka Sanka 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 for a time, a year and a bit dear to us, Santi and the Bushman, because how on earth, so better so be a woo. Now, the Tia, but it's all and Yan Ukraine, no Nipane, I'll say, ah, I didn't see now, we will, and we'll change away the baby. Just as we've heard it from her, she has actually the hatred is actually so massive and too much to wish a fellow human being dead and like appointed him or I don't understand how everyone some people feel is actually very very okay to come out to the public to wish people dead. That's how that has actually come to bend down his displeasure coming out to speak that this is so much so much bad according to uh, gabby he said the disappointment expressed by a section of the public for the affirmation that the president secretary is responding responding to treatment after a learning mode suggesting that he is dead already speaks to the deep hatred harbored against his family the hatred is in as much as not necessary but is very deep and scary to wish a fellow woman being dead and be disappointed he is still alive is devilish based anyway so many people are actually not happy that he is still alive and breathing that's why gabby has actually come out to bend down his displeasure coming out to say that he is so so disappointed and this causes that so many people are not happy with uh, the person alive or they just want to take a life from where they did not uh, give and he said according to aristotle can be cured by time but hatred cannot he wrote in facebook page the office of the president has announced that the secretary to the president nana ben Bediato, is currently responding to treatment after being hospitalized in the united states this comes after news circulated on social media that nana has actually suffered and a nurse and was hospitalized with all that indicating he had already died for his participation in 79th United Nations General um, Assembly in New York, where he was a key member of President Akufarado's delegation. According to the official statement released by the Office of the President on October 2, 2024, Nana Bent Bedento was admitted to the hospital after not feeling well. The statement clarified that he is responding very, very well to the treatment and recovering progressively, positively. Meanwhile, a deputy national communication officer of the opposition, that's NDC, Malik, has actually stated that the reaction of the public to the health of Nana, who is a direct relative of President, is a clear indication how Ghanaians feel about President Nana Akufado and his family. Sir, I hope you now get a sense of how Ghanaians feel about the Mafia family, I mean the Dankwa and the Ofori Banya family. 
Anyway, he has actually come out to say, well, we don't wish you dead. We only wish you all jail and Sterling Muniz return. He wrote in response to the post made by Gabby, coming out to say that this is actually how Ghana feel about this uh, present family, the president, the family of President Nahaku Faro. That's to say that Ghanaians don't love President Kufado and his family and they just wish him ill, according to what uh, the NDC spokesperson actually said. Anyway, uh, um, Asekla has actually come out to say that everyone should be careful with statements that threatened our peace. The office of the chief imam of politicians has actually spoken. Please, stretch. We are less than two months, or if you like, only one month away from our national election this year. We hear statements and messages, and we can feel how the tension is rising. That which justifies why close to our election, religious bodies and all other organizations are still running around the very subject of peace for fear of what can happen to our nation if violence breaks out. And that is why we must commend the vision bearer who has been very thoughtful. This is the second subject of national importance that he has convened. The first one was, what was about our moral vision of our country. If you can give him an applause, I, I really. What amazes me is that he's not an old man. If we are old, then I say that, oh, because he's advanced in age, so he's now thinking he's sober, he cannot. Like those of us who know when you were young, you were very active. When you are getting old, the slower you become. When you are getting old, the more thoughtful you become. So we associate even wisdom with older people. But it's a, a, somebody I see as a young man. Apostle, anytime I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and yet he's able to assemble this multitude. And they all join him because of the purity of his mind. And the force of the purity of the mind that, that is behind him be able to organize organize this. I think we must all rally behind him. <laughs> we have only one Ghana. I have traveled. Chief Human has actually warned the youth to deceased from anyone that want to use them to achieve their negative aim coming this election. And the office of the National Chief Human has consult politicians to ensure inciting and dangerous statements that threaten the peace and stability of the country in the lead of the 2024 general election. Anything that will have to betray the peace should be out of it, according to the chief imam. Speaking at the peace campaign forum held at the State House of, on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024, Shakir has actually Shaidu has the chief imam spokesman expressed concern about raising political tensions in ahead of the elections. He warned that the atmosphere is ripe for violence and urged all politicians to refrain from stroking or worsening the existing tensions that could lead to dangerous situations threatening the nation's peace. And we are less than one month away from our national election this year. We hear statements and messages that indicate how the tension is rising, which justify why religious bodies and other organizations are rallying around the very subject of peace for, for fear of what will happen and if violence should break. And making reference to the devastating statement of Liberia due to war, he actually called on politicians, especially to safeguard the peace and democracy the country enjoys urging them to be mindful of their utterances in public. And actually, he also said that we have only one Ghana. Uh, according to him, he has actually traveled to observe elections in other countries like Kenya, Liberia, and Nigeria. But no one that shocked him the most was Liberia, where I witnessed 
exact devastation caused by war. Anyone who has not seen war will never understand. And that's why he has come out to grammar for peace, making sure that everyone breach peace and anything that will actually bring war should be avoided. He also added that the voice of the eminent chief in man. We want to call on all of us as nations to rise above the political interest and put Ghana first. Therefore, we plead for our political actors to be very careful not to make inflammatory statements that can ignite or stroke the embos and it cause anything that will bring violations or war. And he also concluded his statement by urging the youth to make themselves available to be used as to never to make themselves available to use as to to incite or to initiate violence during the election. And to our young people, the nation belongs to other folks. For those of us who are older, we are not growing any younger. The nation is our future. So everyone should be cautious and make sure that there is no way they are going to use you for anything that will contradict the peace of the country. For election of the nation in some countries, I've observed election in Kenya. I've observed election in Liberia. I've observed election in Nigeria. But the one that gives me that gave me so much shock of my life is that of Liberia. When I saw this extent of devastation in that country as a result. And anyone who has not seen war before will never understand the value of peace. If you've not seen or a semblance of it. If you like, if you travel to Rwanda, ask them. Ask the people of Rwanda. When the Tutsis and the Hutsus, who virtually are speaking the same language, have to kill themselves in other nations where we know uh, violence has broken out. So, with the voice of the eminent chief Imam, we want to call on, on all of us as a nation to rise above our political interest and put them at first. In that regard, we just want to plead our political actors to be careful not to make inflammatory statements that can ignite or stop the embers of power. Please do have to like, comment, follow, put on your notification bell so you get all our news one by one. Thank